let's get straight to the point. You've been lied to about everyday science facts your whole life. The world isn't exactly how your teacher or grandma explained it. The truth is more shocking and hilarious than you think. Number 10. The Toilet Swirl Conspiracy Imagine an action hero figuring out his location by watching a toilet flush spin. Sounds clever, right? In reality, your toilet isn't a secret hemisphere detector. The old tale that toilets flush opposite directions in different hemispheres is totally swirling with nonsense. Why? Because toilets are designed with angle jets that force the water one way or the other, completely overpowering Earth's tiny Coriolis effect. In fact, the volume of water in a bowl is far too small to be influenced by the planet's rotation. Britannica.com So whether you're in Texas or Tasmania, your potty's spin direction depends on plumbing, not the equator. Even Sylvester Stallone tried the trick in a movie. Sorry, Sly, it doesn't work. The only thing your toilet flush tells you is how your toilet was built, not what side of Earth you're on. Next time someone repeats this myth, feel free to flush that argument away with a grin. Number 9. Knuckle-cracking arthritis myth Your mom might have gasped every time you crack your knuckles, warning your fingers will petrify into arthritis-ridden claws by age 40. Good news! You can crack a smile, because this is a myth. The pop sound is just gas bubbles bursting in the joint fluid, not your bones shattering. And studies, including a delightfully obsessive 50-year experiment, found no link between knuckle cracking and arthritis. Scientificamerican.com One doctor even cracked the knuckles on one hand for decades and never on the other to prove the point, earning himself an Ig Nobel Prize and perfectly healthy knuckles. The verdict? Habitual knuckle crackers have no more arthritis than the quiet fingered folks. Scientificamerican.com So while incessant cracking might annoy your friends, and please don't overdo it to the point of sprain, it won't turn your hands into gnarled prunes. The only thing this habit is likely to hurt is someone else's patience. Snap, crackle, and pop without fear. Your joints can handle it. Number 8. The 5 Second Food Lie you drop a slice of pizza on the floor. Do you A, mourn it, B, eat it because five-second rule, or C, call it floor-aged pizza and serve it ironically at a dinner party? The five-second rule suggests bacteria politely wave before invading your fallen food. Spoiler, microbes aren't that courteous. Studies show contamination happens immediately on contact, though the type of food and floor matters. Watermelon, for instance, becomes a bacterial buffet in under a second, while dry crackers pick up fewer hitchhikers. The good news? Most floors don't harbor enough germs to instantly make you sick, unless your roommate's hobby is cultivating petri dishes on the kitchen tiles. The bad news? A floor sterilized isn't a thing. The truth is, the five-second rule isn't a law of nature. It's a law of human denial. Still, if you want to live dangerously, eat that cookie. Just don't call it science. Number 7. Your tongue map is fake news. Remember the colorful diagram in your school book showing the tongue map, sweet at the tip, salty on the sides, bitter in the back? Yeah, that's complete baloney. In reality, every taste bud on your tongue can detect all five major tastes. Sweet, salty, bitter, sour, and umami. The so-called map came from a mistranslation of an old German study where the scientists noticed slight sensitivity differences across the tongue, which later spiraled into each region only senses one flavor. The truth? Flavor perception is a full tongue orchestra, not a divided neighborhood. So the next time someone says, you only taste sweet on the tip of your tongue, kindly remind them that their entire mouth is lying to them. Bonus, umami, the savory fifth taste, wasn't even officially recognized until the 20th century, so your school diagram was outdated before your lunchbox was even packed. Number 6. The Metal Feels Colder Trick Why does a metal spoon feel like a frozen dagger, while a wooden spoon feels harmlessly room temperature, even when both have been sitting side by side on the counter all day? This is where physics loves to prank us. Both spoons are actually the same temperature. 
but metal conducts heat away from your warm hand much faster than wood. Your skin's nerve endings confuse heat leaving your body with this object is colder than me. It's the same reason touching a car door in winter feels like putting your palm on a glacier, while a wooden fence feels almost cozy. The metal isn't colder. It's just really good at stealing your body heat. Basically, metal is that friend who borrows your Netflix password and drains all your Wi-Fi. It doesn't create the cold, it just hijacks your energy supply. Number 5. Goldfish memory isn't that bad. Somewhere along the line, humans decided goldfish were the dumbest animals on Earth, cursed with a memory span of only 3 seconds. This became a cultural shorthand for forgetfulness. But here's the twist. Goldfish can remember things for months. Researchers have trained them to recognize sounds, colors, even push levers for food, which is honestly more impressive than most cats. The three-second myth likely stuck around because, let's face it, a goldfish doesn't look like a brainiac. But appearances deceive. In fact, goldfish memory is used in research to study learning and conditioning. So the next time someone calls you a goldfish brain, remind them that the fish could probably pass a quiz on its favorite snack dispenser after weeks of practice. Meanwhile, most humans forget where they put their car keys in under 10 minutes. Number 4. The sun isn't yellow. Every child draws the sun as a bright yellow circle, but here's the cosmic punchline. The sun is actually white. If you view it from space, where Earth's atmosphere can't mess with the light, it shines pure white, made up of all visible wavelengths mixed together. The yellow you see from Earth is an atmospheric effect. Shorter blue and violet wavelengths scatter in the sky, leaving behind that golden glow. It's the same trick that makes sunsets fiery red. So technically, when you say the sun is yellow, you're falling for a sky-level Photoshop filter. Next time someone insists on a yellow crayon sun, feel free to smugly declare, astronauts would disagree. Of course, you'll sound insufferable at a kindergarten art class, but scientifically accurate. Number three, humans don't have just five senses. Touch, taste, smell, hearing, sight, the famous five. But reality didn't get that memo. Humans actually have at least nine senses, depending on how you count them. There's proprioception, your sense of body position, nociception, pain, equilibrioception, balance, thermoception, temperature, and even chronoception, your sense of time, which, let's face it, runs slower during Zoom calls. The idea that we only have five senses goes all the way back to Aristotle. And like many ancient ideas, it stuck around long after science had moved on. Modern neuroscience shows your body is more like a Swiss army knife of perception than a simple five-tool set. So when someone says they have a sixth sense, you can smile and reply, congratulations, that still puts you several behind the rest of us. Number two, lightning can strike twice. There's a cliche that lightning never strikes the same place twice. It sounds poetic, like nature is keeping a scorecard, but the sky isn't that sentimental. Lightning loves repeat business. The Empire State Building gets struck about 25 times per year. And some trees get zapped so often, they could practically sell season tickets. Lightning follows paths of least resistance. Tall, conductive, and often pointy objects. So if you're ever caught in a storm and think, I'll stand by this tree since it's already been hit once. Congratulations, you've just signed up for the sequel. The truth is, Lightning is like a bad movie franchise. It'll happily reboot in the same spot again and again, no matter how many times it's been done before. Number one, humans explode in space? Nope. Hollywood taught us that if you step into space without a suit, you'll pop like a water balloon in a microwave. But space doesn't do Michael Bay-style explosions. What actually happens is creepier your bodily fluids start to boil, not because they're hot, but because there's no air pressure holding them down. You'd lose consciousness in about 15 seconds, swell up like a fleshy marshmallow, and after about two minutes, well, let's just say you're done. But you wouldn't explode. In fact, 
Astronauts exposed to vacuum in training accidents survived brief exposure, with only swelling and temporary injuries. The scary truth is slower, subtler, and way less cinematic than the movies promised. And honestly, isn't that even more disturbing? Sometimes, reality doesn't blow up. It just quietly crushes your expectations. So what's the takeaway from all these misunderstood facts? Science isn't about memorizing what you were told in school. It's about questioning, testing, and laughing at how confidently wrong we all are. The world isn't less magical when myths are debunked. It's actually way weirder, funnier, and more surprising. Next time you hear a science fact that sounds too simple, remember, the truth is probably stranger and way more entertaining. That's it for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see more.